Good morning and welcome to the final video from Prague. We have had a lazier morning, but it's fine, we are on holiday. Well, I say we. Pete has had a lazier morning because <laughs> he woke me up at half seven and then went back to sleep, but I didn't. Um, but that's fine, I've pottered, I've read my book, I've done sort of things. We've also done our UK passenger locator form, which we're still not entirely sure if we need to do as we live in the UK, but we've done them anyway, just in case, because, yeah, but it was a little bit of a faff. Pete is currently trying to find us somewhere to go for some breakfast, even though it's about half ten, so we're probably nearer lunch than we are breakfast. And then we're going to head off to the castle this morning and then see where the day takes us, because we don't have a huge amount of plans. And as always, we will show you what we show you as we make our way, our final day in Prague. So, I hope you enjoy. Got to talk quickly because it's copyright music, but instead of having breakfast, we decided to come for sort of early lunch and then we'll have something a bit afterwards because we don't know how long the castle will take. So we've come to a Czech fast food restaurant called Boulevard. Um, so we've got two sandwiches. Pete's very impressed with them so far. <laughs> Is it yellow? Yeah. You can only see cheese really well. There you go, Blue cheese. We're not ones to normally do fast food in a holiday. But that was nice, and also not in the UK. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a UK chain, and that was a better version than Subway, I'd say. Yeah, way better than Subway. It's coming from someone that used to work at Subway. And that might be someone who likes Subway, so, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, if you're in the Czech Republic, or Prague, I assume they're everywhere else, and you're in need of a quick lunch, that one's good. Uh, if you go to the screens, you can get it in English, but you do have to pay by card. We've happened upon Kafka, Kafka's head. Um, looking at the sign, it looks like it moves. But we can't work out whether it's slowly moving now, or whether it moves every 15 minutes. I think it moves every 15 minutes. That's my guess too. chocolate in the only cafe that is here which is Starbucks which is a bit disappointing but hey ho needs must. The castle was good we did get the audio tour but we only got one and then put our headphones in because it's got two headphone jacks so if you like the person you're with and you're happy to walk with them do that it makes it a bit cheaper but you do have to give a 500 kroner deposit for the audio guide. The Royal Palace was also not open today so we didn't get to go into that bit and there is no audio guide on the Golden Lane which was the bit I was most interested in so a little bit disappointed by that but other than that I enjoyed it it was good to wander around to learn a bit there was a massive silver coffin thing that I would have shown you in the b-roll beforehand we've spent how long two hours three hours here about three hours here so far 
and now we're trying to work out where to go next. We might go and see if we can get another chimney cake, see if we can get one that is of better quality than the one we had yesterday. <laughs> So we've decided to share one and we've gone for a strudel. Apple and cinnamon. It's the one we agreed on. <laughs> uh, so let's see if this is any better. I don't even know if that one might be fresher. I don't know whether we've got one that she just brought out or whether it's been sat there for a while. But it's not hot, so. So it's probably been sat there for a while. There they go. Right, let's try this and see what it's like. That one was better. Yeah, definitely better. Hear us out, we've come to Hamleys, which is a London thing, but there's all sorts of stuff inside and we don't have a lot of time left till our next booking. So we've got an hour to wander in here. See Iron Man. That's quite good. Is that fun? That's good, yeah. <laughs> so we found a game to waste some time. Guess the name of the Beanie Baby. Jesus. <laughs> This is what we do on holiday. Um, I mean, it looks like Barney, but it probably is. It's probably good, like flames or something. Stumpy. Stumpy? Stumpy. Oh, Stumpy. Yes, yeah, Stumpy, if you're watching, that is you. <laughs> you won't be watching. Anonymous bar. It's tasty, tasty cocktails. The cocktails were good. They were pricey for yeah. Prague. Like you're talking like London prices, and none of the alcohol here has been London prices. Oh, but so, oh, maybe London prices. Some of the London like, cocktails nowadays are getting like to like 10, 11 quid. Like. Well, the rebate eight out. The, 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 I've had a few drinks. Um, <laughs> they're about eight pound plus for a cocktail. We're here or down there? I'm just figuring it out. Let's uh, move over a bit so that we're not in the way. Um, but they are... What's the word I'm looking for? Displayed well, so each... That seems like a shortcut. We'll each cocktail has its own theme. So as you saw, like, he had a Wilson, so it came in a Wilson football, which was cool. Um, yeah. Castaway is one of his favourite films. <laughs> yeah. Um, I might as well show it for the 20th time. <laughs> Uh, we've obviously done this before dinner, and there was like nobody in there, so... There was two other, there was three other, three other Four. Groups. Okay, so there was people in there. But by the end of it, it was just us. Yeah. So I don't, if you want ambience and people around... Go later. Go later, is probably what I would suggest. It is a Wednesday as well, so that might make a difference. But it quite honestly didn't matter to us that there was no one there, because... We're there to talk to each other, not other people. And the chairs are very comfortable. I would also add that one in. Yeah, we'll I very much enjoyed my high-backed chair. We're now going to do something that we like never do on holiday, like ever. Uh, we may have done it in Mexico, but we were there for two weeks. And that is go back to the same restaurant that we went to last night. Just because there's something else we want to try on it, and I can't go to find another restaurant. Can everyone just go to one? Yeah, we don't. And it was good, so. It was good last night. There are other things we want to try on the menu. It's also not that expensive for what it is, I would say. Yeah, no, it's right? cheap. Yeah, cheap. So we're going to go back to the same place instead of trying to find somewhere new. Uh, so if you're interested in that restaurant, because I probably won't show quite as much now, I'll link our day two video up in the little eye card for you. So you know what I'm talking about, because I... I mean, I didn't show a lot, uh, did I? I will probably show more in that video than this video. So, yeah, that's where we're off to. I think we might try and get the pork knuckle tonight. I think so, yeah. If we can get in, fingers crossed. But yesterday there was a lot of spare tables, so I'm assuming there will be today as well. Pork knuckle, chips and garlic dip, and a salad. Suit as well. That's good. Dinner, although in the same place, was still really good. Very good. Um, and different. So glad we went back, even though we never do that. 
because we like to try new places and new things, but that is trying new things in a place we know where it's going to taste nice. And I don't know what they do with their potatoes, but those crisp chip things, really nice, like the potatoes the night before. So yeah, this is our last evening, so we're going to just be packing up and um, we've got some alcohol to drink. Again, if you haven't seen yesterday's video with the beer spa, check that one out. So I think I'm going to end this video here and this little Prague trip because we're just flying back quite early tomorrow so I won't be filming that for you. Any last thoughts from yourself? I've enjoyed it. It's been a good trip. It's been nice to get away again. Yeah, it's been good to actually be able to get abroad and have a complete change of scenery. Yeah, feel like switched off. It's good. Um, yeah. So on that note, I'm going to end this video here, so if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you've enjoyed this little Prague series and are looking to our next trip, because it won't be long until we're away again, uh, click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!